Steve Davis leading by four frames to three. Paul Hunter having to play catch up once again. And the opening red is there for him if he wants to take it on. Play to get onto the black. He may have second prize here. The pink's possibly available into the middle, but it's a tough pot. I'm just not confident for Paul at the moment. Any kind of shot he plays that's difficult. That's a good pot. That's an excellent shot. That was very, very tough to play under pressure. Played it nicely. Still has choice of reds. Seven. Eight. So frustrating. We've all had plenty of matches like this where everything you do, you don't seem to get position, and this is one of those matches for Paul Hunter. And if Paul somehow Hunter. he can Eight. get away with this match and win it, and I don't know quite honestly how he can do that at the moment. Certainly have to improve a great deal in his next round. Well, even this is not a straightforward pot. The gap's available between brown and green to bring the white into play, but once again, a shot that uh, is going to be tough for Paul today. Good pot. One. Now, I wonder if the red will pot by the black when the black goes on its spot. What do you think, Dan? I think it will, really. Because if it doesn't, I'm sure he would have played for the blue and then up for that red. And there we can see it. I think both black and red will go when the black's respotted. He's got the other red into the middle pocket if it doesn't, but I'm nearly certain the red will be available. Eight. Yeah, you'd get a bust through there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Nine. Over the years, Paul Hunter has played some of his best snooker from behind. Uh, I remember against 16. Fergal O'Brien in the final a few years ago where he was well behind. I think it was 6-2 behind at one time and eventually won the match against O'Sullivan. He's been 6-2 behind and won. A lot of best of nine matches Paul used to start slowly. But today, the difference between starting slowly and playing badly, that's, that's for me the key because he's playing badly today. Twenty-five. If this is dead straight, it could be end of break because he can't force an angle to get in behind the only loose red. The loose red to the right of the pink there. He's got an angle, so he's okay. Just not happening, is it? Or is the one in the middle? Is there a gap? 32. He didn't quite get the fizz on that last shot. He didn't get the screw where the white carried on spinning. It just sort of stayed there. Just have a look at this. There's it now, and then just didn't quite come back. It, it's on, Willie. <laughs> what a little bonus that is. First bit of luck he's had, I think, in this match, and uh, I think he needs a bit at the moment to get his confidence back. <coughs> Amazingly enough, this is Paul Hunter's highest break so far. And that's a poor shot. The white should have been a lot further in the middle of the table Ford. than it is now.
just cannot 41. get the ball under control. Well, I don't think this black's a certainty. Didn't fancy him to pot that, Dennis. Paul Hunter, under any 41. circumstances, there. And how hard did he hit it? Didn't seem to have to hit it that hard. I think it was almost fluked it in the opposite corner. At least the white's gone near a cushion and it hasn't left a sitter for Steve Davis. In fact, I don't even know if there's a pot on. Yes, he's been very lucky there, but in watching the black for the second time, I think he did get a bad contact. The black seemed to square up a little bit, and uh, it's just lack of confidence. I think sometimes you can, like you rightly say, Dennis, why did he hit it so hard? I think he was just anxious. Well, I don't know what Steve was hoping all the reds would stay up this end. He's brought a couple up the table with him. It's been a strange old <laughs> bit of snooker we're watching at present. But it's, it seems to have something about this match. We're going to go to the deciding frame. One. Paul Hunter, 50 in front. Three more reds and colours. We'll level the match for the second time. He levelled at three all, so a chance to level at four all. Six. Normally, you would say he was a cert to do it. Seven. Thirteen. There's the difference. Sixty-seven men. If he doesn't miss, win this frame, will he? He'll eat his bandana. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty-one. Frame safely in the pocket now, so I think this is key here for Paul Hunter to try and clear at this visit, just to get his queuing arm going, because quite obviously it's not going at the moment. Twenty-seven. 28. 34. 34. Oh, Steve Davis concedes. Oh. Paul